So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Hopefully everyone's having a good week. So one of the most frequent questions I receive is how do I free up space on my fire stick? How do I speed it up? How do I make it run a little bit faster? Now using this one tool is called developer tools menu. This is a must have for your fire stick. So a lot of cool options in here, monitor your network, uninstall apps that you don't use, clear up some of that cache, some of that memory, kill apps that's running in the background, just a lot of features on here. So in this video, I'm gonna do a quick run through, go through some of the main features that you must check out with this application and if you have any questions about this drop it in the comment section below let's go ahead and jump into it so the app is right here guys it's called developer tools menu it can be found directly in the app store so let's go ahead and launch it so the first box i'm highlighted go ahead and launch at the developer tools and menu now system x-ray is a very useful tool guys if you go ahead and turn it on you can see you have a lot of information just popped up on your fire stick so let's go through what we're seeing here so it gives you the display which is currently hdmi mode 1080p of 59.93 frames per second or 60 frames per second a little bit over where you see the one two three four that's the four cores of your cpu so whenever you start opening applications or launching different apps let me go ahead and demonstrate so if i start launching imdb you can see we're getting a spike here of course like anything else if it's red it's bad if it's green it's good so you can see just launching a couple applications kind of put that cpu in that red zone and whether you leave this on or you turn it off after you're done using it that can be a useful indication to why your fire stick is running and usually the cpu spikes usually the cpu spikes because it's trying to keep up with everything that you're throwing at it so the next one is the memory you can see we have three different colors right there in the menu so the first one is blue and the blue is displaying the app that we're running currently so that should change depending on which app you're running the next one is the gray area which is the majority of our memory now right there you can see it's a 1.1 gigabyte so i have a lot of apps running in the background so we'll try to kill those apps in a little bit and kind of see if that kind of reduces that gray area the next area on that graph is the white now the white essentially is a free space the more white you see the better so keep that in mind and moving over to the network area so we have a couple different things going on here so the first one is the rssi or the signal of your network you can see negative 40 negative 39 is going in between those areas just know that with the signal strength the lower the number the better so if you want to use this to position your fire stick in a better position to your router that would be a good area for you to actually look and see when you're getting a better signal so next to that we have the upload and the download and moving over the last one is going to be your remote controller so basically just saying hey i'm at 74 percent battery um, but this is a good indication if your remote isn't working or your remote's having issues you can kind of look and see if your battery is running low so like I said, guys, you can leave this on. Now on the system x-ray, guys, if you go to configuration panel, you do have some options. You can turn off the CPU if you don't want it. Memory, you can turn that off. Your remote information. You can also move where this menu appears. So if you want to put it on the top, on the left, on the right, you can go ahead and do so on the bottom, or you can go ahead and just turn it off so this is a very useful tool but there's other things that you can do in here that will actually help improve those numbers at the bottom so let's go ahead and jump over to one of them it does have a built-in file explorer guys which works pretty well you can kind of see everything that's on your your device so it's a free file explorer why not if i go into downloads you can see what i have downloaded there i can do different things with it so that's there i mean you probably have something a little bit better with a better interface but if push comes to shove you have a free file explorer right there so what we're going to look at now is the list the background apps and processes let's click on that so this is where we get into the meats of everything so this is where you can improve your memory so if you look at the memory right now you can see that gray area is one gigabyte so we're going to close out a couple of these apps and that should improve that score a little bit so keep your eye on the memory area it's in about one 1.1 gigabyte unfortunately how this works it doesn't actually allow you to kill all the apps at the same time you actually have to go in individually but just looking at it you can see you can see which apps are open so you can kind of get an idea you hit the drop down there if you hit the drop down there you can kind of refresh it you can sort it whether it's system apps or user applications so right now the system apps are towards the top switch it back 
the user apps are towards the top. So if I go to close all apps, which is what I'm gonna do to try to improve that score at the bottom. It's gonna bring us back to the settings where we normally go to kill apps, but the cool thing about this is while it doesn't kill all the apps at the same time, it clearly defines which apps are open. That way you can go through and force stop all of them. So go to force stop. So all you have to do here is hit force stop, hit the back button, and it will go to the next application. So sometimes you have to go in a couple times. So let me go back in and let's force out the rest of them. Now there's the final number after I killed all the apps in the background. You can see down to under one gigabyte, which is pretty good. Most of those uh, remaining apps are gonna be the system apps. Gotta leave those running, but I got a lot more available space, which is gonna help my device run a little bit faster. So next area we're gonna look at, and this is where if you're running out of space on your device, this is something that you must check out. This is where you'll see which apps are running, how much space they're using. Then you can make a decision of which app you wanna go ahead and uninstall. So if we go to App Info Manager, let's go ahead and launch that now it goes through and basically loads all the apps on your device so to see more details go to sort at the top now you have the option to sort them by user versus system name a to z z to a size and that's where we're going to go we're going to go size 100 to 0 so 39 apps found and they are listed in size so i know for a fact i don't use at&t tv i don't use any of the at&t stuff and lydia i use i don't use sling so a lot of opportunity here for me to save some space. So let me start with AT&T TV. So if you click on it and then click on manage app, brings you to the uninstall area. So go ahead and uninstall it. Now hit the back. We might have to refresh that. So let's go back in. Just want to make sure that's gone. All right, we're going to sort it again. All right, so that is gone. Didn't see a refresh on this page. So let's go to the next AT&T, which I don't use, just taking up space. So let's go ahead and uninstall it. All right, so that should be gone as well. And like I said, take your time, go through it. There's a lot on here that I don't use, just looking at it. Not a subscriber for Sling, so therefore it doesn't need to be on my fire stick just a lot of random stuff that I've never I don't remember installing so there's a lot of useful tools on here so there's a test net speed and if you don't have that portion of the app installed guys it will bring you to the installation page just click on it it will go ahead and download and then it'll launch it once it's done installing all right so there we go we can test our download our ping tests land scanner so a lot of useful tools on here. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know if this helped, if this helped you speed up your fire stick at least a little bit. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Also, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell is on. I am working on a video where I show you guys how to kill all the apps at the same time uh, within the fire stick. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.